that could be much better for you to memorize it, but try it. That is so beautiful. That is so great. Maybe, maybe, maybe some great cathedral in the last two or three hundred years has heard that sound a time or two or three in the evening vespers. But it'll only be by a miracle if anybody's heard anything like that in the last two or three hundred years. To open evening vespers. Well, that's one of the greatest things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> That's one of the most wonderful things I ever heard in my life. And it seemed like it hearts our hearts were open to receive it. I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Just trying to play pray. And see, my mind, the first thing that hit my mind when I see holy is in some services in my past where people tried to sing holy, holy, holy out of order. And I needed a stretcher before it was over with, it seemed like. Boy, I didn't need one tonight. I needed the divine restraint of God. But I, he was helping us. He was helping us. It was great. That happened here, Amen. Wednesday night, November the 26th, 28th. November the 28th, 1984, that happened right here. It was sung right here. Something like few have heard in the last two or three hundred years. I'd be surprised if anybody had that feeling much in a thousand, fifteen hundred or two. It'd almost go, I believe you'd have to go back a long way. To have for an evening vespers to have heard words and music like that and a choir sing. I, I, I have reason to believe that I'm right. Oh my. Oh my. Have you had my experience? You're visiting, you go to various churches and you go to the, you go to a fine edifice and there's a preacher with a gown on and Choirs come out all robed and tassels flying back and forth. And maybe there's, you know, symbols, gray Christian symbols. And there's a, there's a choir master. And you think he surely looks like Bernstein. And the choir is small, but you think, well, I'm in a high place. This is surely going to be great. And it, it comes out a squeak and a squawk and a drag. And you look in a choir and you hear great words and you hear what should be fine music and, and, and you're waiting on some, just one person in the choir to have the glory. And you're fortunate anywhere in the land if you can find one person in the choir to have it. Now, I didn't look back there, but I have a feeling that if you were looking, you found more than one with the glory. Somebody who's worshiping God. So, Brother Hook, why are you telling us these things? Well, because I feel that too. And I have the advantage of being the leader in charge. And two, I cannot contain myself. I don't know where the rocks are, but I guess the wood would scream after a while if somebody didn't say something. Praise the Lord. Why, I can't believe it. Yet it happened right here. Just happened. God came in power. Jesus spoke. And it was so beautiful. I was wondering. I was just wondering. <laughs> hmm. Claire. Praise the Lord. Well, that's that's join the choir in number twenty six. Day is dying in the West. I stand for the first uh, the song. Day is dying in the West. After this, Brother James 
Ashworth will come and lead us in prayer before we go on with our hymn sing. the service if God has mercy on us and the rest of the service like he's had in the first opening psalms I'm going to be one happy man Thank you, Lord. that was in the prelude that wasn't in the hymn choices that was in the prelude but I thought it was in the prelude I said Jesus I said that's what the choir is singing now, when I was a boy I didn't even know this was a good song I didn't. My mother and dad knew it was good, but I didn't know it was good. I know it now. When I was little, I wouldn't have chosen Day is Dying in the West by the title. But I'm getting closer to the dying time. It means something to me now. And I'm telling you, that's got hope in it. When these stars go out, let that eternal morning rise. 
Amen. I was thinking, I just wonder how many people in communist countries would like to have the joy that you, that you and I have just had right now. And how many three quarters, two thirds of three quarters of the Russian men go to bed drunk every night, filled with vodka, drowning out, no hope, just drowning it out. Think of it. Their uh, mortality rate has decreased. Our men have gotten to live longer. Theirs live less. Their mortality rates dropped. Men don't live very long in their 40s, I think. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. I was looking around to see how many of you knew what a privilege you had to sing while I was looking for one or two in particular, and they aren't here. But I said, Oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. Oh, God in heaven. How can it be so great? Oh, how can it be so great? See, we, we've sang an opening song. We had the first hymn. And it's so wonderful. I said, now, Jesus, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just, when I came in, I said, now, I don't know where I'm going to find you. I'll just call on the first one, and I won't say a word. And I'll call on the second I said, tell you what, Jesus, if you're not there in an hour, I'm going, I'm going to say, dismiss, let's go. I wasn't that I was discouraged. I just didn't know. I just said, Lord, I'm most desperate. I'm a sinner saved by grace. Help me. Glory to God. I need you. Well, I've, got, I've, I've gotten encouraged. <laughs> I can't hardly believe it. It's better than Christmas when I was little. I was mighty good because I was very idealistic. I thought, wish you'd have been under the trees with me on Christmas Eve and go out and just seemed like to me Santa would pass over just any moment. Boy, the clouds and... <laughs> she so, sure were. He was with me. We go out and look for Santa. Mm-hmm. See if we could see him across the moon. Yes. See if I could see him. It didn't hurt me about Jesus at all. It didn't hurt me at all. I know his mom and dad let us have a good imagination. They didn't come in and sit down and say, Now, boys, there's no such thing. You just might as well take a harpoon and put it in our tummy. Kapoomp. Tells us there's no Santa Claus. Mercy. I'm, you know, that'd been bad. Boy, we get up on Christmas morning. Dad would get out on the porch and holler, ho, 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 and tromp off. <laughs> Man, the chills would go up the back of my neck. <laughs> Race out of the bed to try to catch him before. Gone, gone. I got suspicious early, but it's all right. I, I, I wanted him so bad, I didn't dare investigate those suspicions. I, I had a sneaking feeling that Santa Claus had more than one identity. But I, 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 I didn't want anybody telling me. And may the Lord have mercy on that first child, one of my neighbors that told me there wasn't any Santa Claus. And deepen that suspicion. May God have mercy on that child. I don't remember going around and do that. Whew. Who wants to take, you know, who wants to take that joy? Out? But I want you to know the joy of the Christ child is never diminished. Amen. The joy of Jesus, the joy of worshiping him. Oh, I tell you, while I go in that song, that last verse, I... I was looking way into heaven. And it seemed like the deeper I looked, the more power hit the back of my head and clear down the back of my body. Could you feel like go right down your legs? And you? I said, oh, God, holy, holy, thank you. Oh, praise God. That's, that's what I was feeling. And I feel like that I was leading you in that worship. See, I'm sure, I sure am an unworthy person. I believe the most unworthy person in this group. But God, he had mercy on me. Just, just had mercy on me. Just had mercy on you by God's grace. James, would you thank him? Because we owe him. James, I looked down there. You were, you were happy. <laughs> Lord God, would you, would you thank him for us? Praise the Lord. Oh, Lord. Those words, holy, holy, we trembled. We too 
looked up. I said to myself, what are we thinking about? Holy, holy. I was aware that you had come to visit us. Yes, sir. He's here. Jesus is here. I said, I wonder what Pastor Hogue will say. I'm glad that we have a pastor, O Lord, that senses thy presence. Blessed Savior, O Holy Lord. I thank you for a man such as this. O Lord, may we never be as Jacob of old. That's it. Deliver us from that right there. Oh, Jesus, may we never get into a place that God is there and we don't know it. That's it. Lord, deliver me. This communion that we have with you, O oh Lord, can continue. O oh Lord. This is great. Day in and day out. Yes, My mind goes back three years ago, December the 6th. Yes, mine does too. Praise the Lord. For we knelt here, O oh Lord. Yes. And renewed our covenant with Thee. And we was thinking, O Lord, a moment ago while we were meditating, I can't remember one hour that I have been discouraged. Not one. Praise God. And I don't remember one service, O Lord, that I didn't want to come and meet with your people and worship with thee. Jesus. What a healing it's been. What a privilege, O Lord, that it is to serve you. Yes, it is. Oh, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your blood. Oh, thank you for the blood. That can wash away Amen. our sins. Oh, yes, it touches me. We thank you for your great mercy. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank as Jesus. Pastor Hogue said the oh, other night, yes. you never let us alone. No, no. Oh, I thank you for that. Glory. Regardless where we may be or what situation that we may be it's in, God... True is always there. It's true. Hallelujah. And I know by experience. Yes. And I thank you, Lord, for wooing me back. Jesus, I praise you. I thank you tonight for the hope that lies within me. It's true. Glory. To know beyond the shadow of a doubt that my name has been recorded in the book of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank you for that. I praise you and I honor you. I praise you, Jesus. That my name is there. It's true. And someday, Mm -hmm. O Lord, Mm -hmm. as we worship you in spirit and in truth, but someday we shall see you face to face. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But oh God, we want to praise you and we want to walk with you in this world. We want to do your will. We want to know the truth. Glory. And Lord, what a privilege it's been to hear the message of denying yourself. Lord, I had to have that. Thank I you, had Jesus. to understand this message. Thank you, Lord. I don't know how many has received it or understand it. I don't know much, yes. but I know a little bit. Yes. And I thank you for it. Yes, Lord. The Jesus. call to the people of God. Thank you, Jesus. Back to God. Thank and oh, how we need to be turned around. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, God, mm-hmm. we are people in this earth mm-hmm. that need you. Mm-hmm. In our hearts and in our midst. Yes. That God can work and do what he wants to do in this earth. And bring it to an end. And and take us home to be with you. And Lord, 
you're wanting to send a Holy Ghost revival. I know you want to send it. Joel prophesied about it. Peter said something about it. Lord, it's all through the Scriptures that you are going to send the Holy Ghost revival. You're going to pour out your Spirit upon all flesh. You only poured it out upon 120, mm-hmm. and then upon the house of Cornelius, mm-hmm. and then there were others down through oh, the Lord. history of time. But yes. Lord, you said you're going to pour it out yes. upon all flesh, That's what you said. upon all flesh. And so Lord I pray, mm. I pray in Jesus' mm. name. There is power and there is authority in that name that is above all other names. I pray in that name. Yes, Lord. And ask the Father in that name yes, that you'll Jesus. give us a Holy Ghost yes, revival. Amen. You'll send a spiritual Amen. awakening. Amen. Oh, that we may see men and women Glory. swept into the kingdom of God. Oh, God, help us, I pray. Yes. And so fill us and run us over with your spirit and love. Oh, God, that you can work yes, through us Jesus. as a people. Bless this ministry. Oh, I feel like, Lord, something, as Brother Dave said earlier, something's about ready to happen. Oh, Lord Jesus, I pray. And, oh, God, may no one miss it. Yes. And may everyone, oh, Lord, will examine themselves. And may we know beyond yes. any doubt. There will not be a doubt. There will not be yes. one thing in our life that we haven't oh, fully Jesus. surrendered to God Almighty and been lifted out of us. You said some send their sins on before them, and some men's sins follow yes. after them. Yes, yes, now, yes. Lord, I'm glad I've sent mine on, a f- oh, on before me. I'm glad they're not following in behind me. And I thank you and I praise you for it. Praise you, Jesus. Now, Lord, I thank you for the choir, for Sally, yes. for Dick. Yes. And, oh, Lord, for this great number yes, that Lord. you was able to sing yes, through them. Lord. Yes. Oh, God, how it blessed me, how it helped me. Mm-hmm. I could have went home. Yes, me too. And said I worshiped God tonight. Hallelujah. Glory. I thank you for the choir and I thank you for the lives of men and women that cheer. And I thank you for this ministry and what it means to me thank you, Jesus. and thank what you, it means Jesus. to a number of Open others. Eyes, Have Lord. your way. Continue to lead. Yes, Continue yes. to bless. Continue to anoint. Amen. And we'll praise you and honor you for it. Yes. For we ask it in your name. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, Amen. glory, glory. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you,
she's right. She's right. Is your, are your hearts clear, Dick and Sally? All clear? The choir may go down then. Praise the Lord. Lift my face. 
Number 401, congregation. Thank you. 
406. 406.
Lord, we've been with thee one hour, and what a change it's made. Dismiss us now in thy care and in thy keeping, and may we follow thee. In Jesus' name, amen.